hard to listen to their own music. Sorry? I said who comes to a party to listen to their own music. I think my music is better. You know, you, uh, you keep knocking back the vodka like that, you won't be able to hear a thing. Trust me, I can't get wasted enough tonight. Why don't I help you along with that? So this is my last weekend of freedom for like three months. Really? Why is that? Mm. My mother is punishing me. For what? For stabbing my stepfather. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you are way too easy. <laughs> Who says that? You're fucking crazy. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint, but I'm actually pretty sane. Unlike my mother, who went and married the first random stranger she met after my father passed away and put him in charge. Anyway. <laughs> I'm Amy, by the way. Amy. Oh, I'm Kyle. Kyle Hartman. Want to get out of here? Sure. Something about you. Where are you? At the head of Nassau Juvie. Don't worry, I've taken care of everything. Cost you a hundred grand, but the DUI never happened. What about the girl? The blood test says she was higher than Everest. Parents don't want the publicity any more than we do. She'll be fine. Bruised, but not broken. Never have kids, Marcus. Listen, the SEC meeting's been pushed till noon. They want to go over the merger detail one more time. Let them. They won't find anything they didn't find the last four times. Don't worry, it'll be approved. All you need to do is close the finance with Westcom. I appreciate you taking care of this. Hey, that's what you pay me for. You focus on closing that deal. I got Kyle under control. It took you so long. We thought you needed a timeout. Seven fucking days. You seen the people in this place? You know what could have happened to me in there? You're lucky I know the judge, or we would have had plenty of time to see how that played out. Where's my dad? Up to here. It was an accident, all right? Jesus. Dog ran out. Your blood alcohol says you saw three dogs and a pink elephant. 
Where's my phone? You don't need it where you're going. What's that supposed to mean? It means your father is sick and tired of cleaning up after you. He's giving you one last chance. You screw this up, he is cutting you off forever, legally disowning you. That's bullshit. I got the papers all drawn up. You want to see? Hey, you want him? Yeah. Hello? Did you really leave that girl there to die? It wasn't like that. So you're a coward now? Dad, I can, I can explain. I'm done listening to your explanations. You do whatever Marcus tells you, or you're out and you're... I'll just go stay with Mom. Your mother's alimony runs out next year. Do you really think she can support your lifestyle? This is your last of a million last chances, Carl. Don't waste it. Dad. Was this his idea or yours? Let's just say it was a meeting of minds. You know what you are, Marcus? You're a lap dog. Someone to do his bidding, and when he's done with you, he'll throw your ass out like he does with everyone he's finished with. This is very simple, Kyle. Get in the car, or go back to jail. The choice is yours. It makes no difference to me either way. Welcome to West Soy, Mr. Harmon. I'm Mr. Close, course principal. This is Mr. Maxwell, outdoor survival instructor. I don't need your instruction, okay? I can take care of myself. Where you come from, maybe that's true, but out here with that attitude, you could probably end up dead. You're in a different world now, Harmon. There will be consequences for every choice you make. Rule one, no lying. Rule two, respect for fellow students and faculty. Rule three, no sex. Rule four, no fighting. Rule five, absolute punctuality at all times. I repeat, rule three, no sex. The course you're about to begin, Mr. Hartman, has been designed to give people like you, the spoiled, overprivileged offspring of the super rich, one last chance to make something of themselves. Now, this island will be your home for the next three months. I would suggest you follow its rules and regulations without question, or suffer its punishments. Mr. Herrick, I'm assigning Mr. Hartman to you here for orientation. Make sure he knows the drill. So what's with all the security guards? It's a POW camp or what? Use your head, man. We're rich kids, valuable assets. We're human bear bonds. There are other issues here too, like running off, getting lost in the woods. If you want a hot shower, you split your own whip for the stove. Here, why don't you give it a go? Looks like you could use one. Nah, you seem to be getting a good kick out of it. I'll let you have all the fun. Listen, 
entitled brat doesn't work here. You pull your own weight, or we all pay the consequences. That's you, that's me. Wait, we're sharing this room? Yeah, lucky me, right? So what was your crime? Gambling. I took a hit that almost bankrupt my folks. Dinner's at seven. They don't like it when you're late. Here, a little green around the gills there, Sergeant Dorsey. I guess three years in the glass house have softened you up. Last I remember, you were the one puking your guts overboard in the Persian Gulf, sir. How are you? Where's the girl? Rachel Henning. She's handling systems and comms. Stig Henning's the one. Are you serious? Trust me. She's a natural. But when it comes to the tough stuff, she takes it in her stride. Just a bunch of kids, right? You sure you want to go down that route? Do whatever allows us to walk away clean. It's business as usual, mate. I didn't find God while you were doing time. I'm glad to hear it. So who's paying for all this, then? Let's just say someone with lots to lose. When do we move? When I get a call. Rule five, Mr. Hartman. It's now 15 minutes after seven. Sorry, I fell asleep. I'm still on US time. You are so full of shit. Miss Tilton, please. A little exercise should help with that jet lag, Hartman. Are you serious? None of your classmates eat until you're done. Outside. Outside. Right, three reps, up and back, double time. Ah, ah, ah. One on each shoulder. Off you pop. Move it! Take those ropes to the storeroom next to the main building. Sooner you're done, 
The sooner we dine. First impressions last, Mr. Hartman. Please. All right, I'm uh, James Thornton, Lexington, Kentucky. Keiko Oshimoto, Tokyo, Japan. Paloma Nava, São Paulo, Brazil. Amy Tilton, Boston. And the Hamptons, where I was recently left for dead by this cowardly piece of shit who ran away. I didn't run away. I, I was out of it, okay? I hit my head. I don't... You left me. That's what happened. That is not a good look, mate. Even a damsel in distress while you take off like Robe Runner. <laughs> what the fuck do you know about me? Oh, man, relax. I'm just messing with you. I'm, I'm sure you had your reasons. Yeah. Like being a fucking pussy. <laughs> All right, enough. All of you. I have a question for you. What common thread do you think you all share? I have nothing in common with these people. My threads are made of silk. Doesn't matter what your panties are made of, your highness. <laughs> You're all spoiled, emotionally neglected, seeking mindless stimulation through technology, booze, drugs, sex, cars, cash. You will only discover who you really are if we take those things away. Well, what, what if this is who we really are? I mean... Is this what you choose, Thornton? To be the kind of man that drives his car through the front window of a Starbucks and puts an innocent child in hospital because you're too busy texting to watch where you're going. Is that what's going to define who you are? He was, he was fine. You're all here for the same reason. You screwed up. But there's hope. Somewhere in your DNA is an instinct to survive, and your time here is all about unearthing that instinct, uncovering who you really are, and helping you forge real connections to the world around you and each other. You will learn to respect yourselves and each other. You will learn to take responsibility for your own actions. We're giving you the opportunity to reset, to start again. And if you don't keep up, you will be left behind. Now, since this is the last kitchen cooked meal that you're gonna have for a week, eat up. Oh. Excuse me, Mr. Hartman. Joe Franz, Metro News Journal. Who let you in? Northern Corps is about to become Hartman Global Holdings. That's a big story. Excuse me, just a minute. I'm curious. How does a small-time hack like yourself come across such privileged information? I have my sources. And right now, they're telling me the future CEO of Hartman Global Holdings just bribed the judge to keep his son out of jail. Careful. There might be no truth to that. Your share prices go to hell even on a rumor like that. Maybe even the entire merger if people start digging. I heard talk that if this thing falls down, you fall too. You may have managed to find one of my secrets, Mr. Franz. But rest assured, you do this. And I'll make it my life's mission to find all of yours. I have dozens of litigation lawyers and private investigators just waiting to take your pathetic life and crush it beyond all recognition. Now run along.
won't get far. Nice morning for an escape, Mr. Hartman. It's not a swim I try, though. My name's Croft, head of security. This island is 60 miles from the nearest landfall. The North Atlantic's a far cry from Sag Harbor. Yeah, I, I got my own money. I could pay you to get me out of here. Yeah? Yeah. I think I'll politely decline that offer. You get yourself back to bed, son. And I have no reason to tell anyone about this. We'll stage from here, then use an inflatable to make the landing. Climb from there. Gonna run into any weather? Well, shipping forecast shows an Atlantic swell in 72 hours. We'll be halfway to Norway by then. Who else we got? A couple of ex-Marines I worked with after you got sent down. Good men. I work hard. There were seven pro guards up there. It's a bit of work in the dark. Nothing we can't handle. This is the one. We get this done, and we can say goodbye to working for hire. Yeah, right. You'll never quit. You love the heat too much. It's arranged. Once the account is routed through the proxy, the funds will be untraceable. I told you she's the best. What's up? Cat got your tongue? What's up? It's a database. It tells you all you need to know about the little fuckets up there. Where do these people get their money? Their fathers steal it. Then they call it free enterprise. They never work a day in their lives. Rich pricks. So you can let me know what rich prick feels like when you want to. What's the split? Ten percent. Of what? One billion dollars. Think a thousand million. If you can't get your head around a billion. Biggest fucking ransom in the history of the world, my friend. Right. You're gonna be outdoors for at least a week, so choose what you think you need to survive. I am not wearing another man's boots. Go barefoot. That's your choice. Now it would be a very good time to start thinking about cause and effect. You choose badly, you live with the repercussions. Right. Edible flora and fauna of the British Isles. This is riveting stuff. Now, familiarize yourselves with food you can forage. There's no packed lunches here. You will eat what you can gather, trap, or kill. Once your basic supplies run out, of course. Mm, I'm not killing anything. Cause and effect, Miss Tilton. You're always welcome to go hungry while the rest of your fellow students eat. Oh, sweet. Hey, Eric. You're a gambler, right? Depends who's asking. You want to bet who's going to break rule three first? You know what? I, I bet, um... I bet that Matthews gets you in trouble one day. <laughs> oh, Thornton. 
It already has, mate. Why do you think I'm here? Take it easy. Hey, Kyle. I'm gonna grab hold of one of these, just since you decided to stay. My father did not send me here to be a beast of burden. Why did he send you here then, Fayed? Other than to bore us all with your royal bullshit. You know, I feel sorry for you, Marsak. Huh? Growing up without any parents. No one to teach you to respect your superiors. It's a lesson you must have missed. I'll teach you now, shall I, mate? Hey, huh? hey, Come hey, on, hey, huh? Hey, Come on, huh? It, That's it, enough. Mate. Rule number four, no fighting. Let's get started. All right, Mr. Herrick, let's have you on, please. Go, Herrick. Hell yeah. Ready for some magic. Nothing that added bounce. All right, ladies. Going together, strength in numbers. Here we go, please. Nice and easy. Nice bit of synchronized footwork. Ms. Tilton. Just be careful, all right? OK, let's see it. Come on. Years of ballet training. Very nimble. <laughs> Show us what you got, Amy. Oh, I will. <laughs> I'll show you boys how it's really done. Damn. Well, that's something I can do. Yeah, drop it. Yeah. Like that. Very nice. <laughs> Copy me, obviously. All right, who have we got next? Mr. Hartman. Looking a bit pale. Hey, Morsak. Four to one, he bottles it. Yeah, all right, I'll take that. <laughs> You're doing great, Hartman. Nice and calm. Oh, like Jenny Lynch. <laughs> Nothing like pure and adulterated fear to snap you into focus, right, Hartman? All right, Carl, I'm coming after you, all right? No. No, come on. No, 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 please. It's all right, Mr. Hartman, it's all right. Make it easy, Thornton. Oh. That's not easy, Thornton. Thornton, enough. That's enough. Come on, boy. Get under control. Thornton. What the fuck are you doing? I'm trying to do it. Just go. Thornton, you stay still. Hartman, just come on your own. Easy, girls. Stay nice, huh? Come on, Thornton. She's waiting for me on the other side, mate. Fuck off, Marsak. You did fine, Hartman. Come on. You're doing well, then. That's it. Good work. Okay, I got it. You're laughing too much. Let's see how you're doing. Come on, class clown. Okay, Mr. Marsak. Here we go. That's lovely work. All right, boys, you're doing fine. Right. You have to think like your prey. You get to know the animal, its tracks, paths, and roots, and that is where you set the snare. One bunny split nine ways is more of a snack than a meal. Is it even worth it? There isn't an animal in the wilderness that can't be caught, big or small. Just have to set the right trap in the right place.
Hartman. Come on, rise and shine, buddy. We've got a big day ahead. <sighs> What's your problem, Herrick? You got nothing better to do? Come here. <laughs> You're a real asshole, you know that? Look around, buddy. I was doing you a favor. Everybody else is up. Remember what happened last time you were late? I'm letting go of the safety. No, 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 no. So you can free claim up no, no, like no, the No, 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 please don't, please. Oh. Nah, fuck him. Leave him. I've seen donkeys with three legs move faster than this ass. <laughs> huh? Yalla, him she had, man. Just remember what I showed you. Look for the hand and footholds. Think about how you're going to get there, then move. Come on, princess. It's just one hand in front of the other. Not hard. Can we just go? All right. Let's give him ten to decide if he wants to climb or live on a ledge for the rest of his no, no. life. Thought we go. No, no, wait, 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 please. Guys. Fuck. Now you know what it feels like to be left hanging. No. Not very fun, is it? Not knowing if anyone's coming back to get you. Please don't come back. Okay, I, I can't move. Okay, listen to me. Just breathe. Pretend it's the climbing wall at Chelsea Piers. You can do it. It's all in the mind. Let's go. Hey. Thanks for back there. I'm not a huge fan of heights. Everyone's afraid of something. Hey, hey, Amy, please. I, I honestly don't remember what happened that night. I mean, I remember getting wasted and having a really great time, but I don't remember the crash at all. I don't know if I ran. We should catch up to Maxwell before he yeah. moves away. Making something. Yeah. It's a, a fishing fly. My dad taught me how to make these when I was a kid. It was like a lifetime ago. Take a look around. It's beautiful, isn't it? Clean air, trees. No skyscrapers, no neon signs, no pollution. Where would you be if you weren't here right now? Getting wasted with a bunch of strangers? Here, we have all this space to think. It's kind of nice. Sounds like Maxwell's getting to you. Or maybe I just have a lot of thinking to do. About what? Well, in five days, I inherit the money my dad left me. And the truth is, I'm terrified of letting him down, screwing it up. He gave me this before he died. When you were born, you cried and the world rejoiced. Live your life so that when you die, the world cries and you rejoice. It's an old Cherokee saying. I just don't want my life to mean nothing, you know?
So you're depressed because you got all this money coming in and you don't know how to spend it. <laughs> I thought you of all people might understand. Guess I was wrong. Hartman, I want you to cut his throat. Look, it's not easy to take a life, but sometimes it's the only thing that stands between you and survival. I can do it. Killed Bambi. I give thanks to this beautiful creature whose life we have taken and to this land. And also to all of you. I was sent to this place as a punishment. But for the first time in my life, I feel free. As though my life is my own. And it's because of all of you. Doesn't matter who our parents are, we don't have to be like them. We can make our own lives. We can be free. Amen to that. Yeah. Very good. All right, fellas. Dig in. It's not tough, that's tender. Yeah. Oh, it's food. Tender oh. like you, Maxwell. <laughs> Martha, better than that good they serve you in the orphanage, huh? <laughs> oh, bit of jungle music. <laughs> We're in position. 
You give him the green light or not? Roger that. Birthday blues? Yeah, sort of. Just thinking about my dad. Today's the day he gives me his last gift. It just feels weird, you know? Listen to me. Your dad believed in you. That's why he gave you that note. He knew that you'd take the money and use it for something to make a difference. You just got to believe in yourself. And hating your stepdad because he's not your real dad. Well, that's just going to eat you up inside. That's what anger and hate does. Trust me, I should know. Maybe Maxwell's right. Everybody deserves a second chance. Cool, Mr. 
Master Maxwell. <laughs> I take that as the highest compliment, Miss Tilton. <laughs> Waiter, I would like a bottle of your finest champagne. Yes, sir, sir, we serve crystal, sir. Come on, crystal, Mr. Close. That's it. It's OK. Hey! Times, Mr. Close. <laughs> Any ideas where he might be? I don't want to have to hurt anyone. Please don't make me have to. He's in his room. That's where I saw him last. Go. Oh. Do not fucking talk. Hold his room, mate. Where did he go? Huh? He went. We're not going to tell you. I think that worthless cow would do the same for you, Mr. Tilton, or have you got a short memory? You know nothing about him. All we want to do is make sure he's safe. It's cold out there. Dangerous. Come on, Amy, why would we want to hurt any of you? You're worth nothing to us dead. I'm somewhere secure. Of course, I understand the complications. We'll find him. This is just a minor glitch and will be resolved quickly. Yeah. Understood. Look, I need Hartman here, and I need him here now. The clock's ticking. All right. He's just a frightened kid. We'll handle it. Good. Hey. You OK? We're going to be fine. OK, our parents are going to pay up, and then we all get to go home. Your parents. I don't have any parents. I have a board of trustees. Do you really think these fuckers are stupid enough to try and get money out of a bunch of lawyers? What do you mean? I mean, I'm on my own. So if your parents need any extra persuasion, guess who's going to get a bullet first? Do not come to that. 
I'm sure our parents will cover your share. Yeah. Yeah, I just hope that doesn't cost you problems. Hey. Oh, fuck what? I'm a fucking problem now because my parents are dead. Is that it? That's what it fucking sounded like. Enough! Shut up! Shut the fuck up. We have to stick together now. Why don't you tell that to Kyle? When he comes out from whatever rock he's hiding under. He just did what any one of us would have done. No. And besides, he's worth a lot more to us out there than he is tied up in here. If he can help us, he will. I know he will. I really hope he doesn't let you down. To all parents, we have your children. They are alive and will remain so provided you follow our instructions precisely. At 1800 Eastern Standard Time tomorrow, you are to convene at a secure location, the coordinates for which will be sent to Mr. Robert Hartman. You will wait there until further contact. Mr. Hartman, it is your responsibility to arrange transportation. Anyone who chooses not to attend, be aware that your child's life will be terminated. <laughs> The ransom is one billion dollars and is non-negotiable. I didn't see Kyle. What do you want to do? They're holding all the cards. We do whatever they say. It's me, it's cough. Don't you fucking move. Fuck my god. I said stay back. Okay. I thought you were one of them. They slaughtered everybody at the bunkhouse. So why the hell did they spare you? 
I saw it happen. I ran away. I'm not a hero, okay? You did nothing? Look, what use is one gun against them? I reckon our best bet is to get to the shore boat, right? Pray to God it's still in one piece. At least we'll stand a better chance of getting help. Fine. We gotta go right now. I've got him. We're on our way. It's just a bit of business, kid. You say hi to your mom and dad. We get paid. You and your buddies can go home. Move. Keep moving. They bring us here? Because it's in the middle of nowhere. I'll call the FBI there and then. Darling, please! You can't just... Don't tell me what I can and can't do. Welcome. I'm Thomas Herrick, and this is my wife, Frances. What took you so long? Uh, Jonathan Tilton Schofield. This is my wife, Emily. We got here as fast as we could. Oh, you're wasting your time. There's no power. I don't get it. Why go to the bother of bringing it in when you can't turn it on? They wouldn't. Well, maybe there's a generator here somewhere. I could take a look. Mr. Thornton, care to give me a hand? Of course. Yeah, I mean, it's been a while since I had a chance to get my hands dirty. So, you still think grounding our son halfway around the world was such a good idea? Well, that wasn't your call to make, was it? I would never have sent him to that place. Ever. Lisa Hartman, Kyle's mother. Francesca, my daughter is Paloma. Emily Tilton Schofield, I'm Amy's mom. When did you arrive? About an hour ago, I traveled with the Harrys. Had a look around, there's not much here. Basic bathroom, kettle, no food. They don't want us to be too comfortable. The reason to come out here was a mistake. I really think we should at least discuss the possibility of handing this situation over to trained professionals. Well, we found the power switch, at least. I hear what you're saying, Mrs. Herrick. But contacting the FBI is just not an option. If we call them, we are effectively signing our children's death warrant. Where are the other parents? Marsak is a trust fund baby. No parents to negotiate with. And we may have an issue with Oshimoto. I'm not sure he's going to pay. Oh, she will pay. I have my best man dealing with it, so 
It won't be a problem. But if it is, who's going to make up the shortfall? I can cover Mr. Oshimoto's share, if it comes to that. I'm sure if we pool our resources, we could manage Mazat's between us. With what? This will leave us with nothing. It took a while. I've just found Croft. He's dead. His neck's broken. You think this was Hartman? Who else? I found Croft's weapon at the bottom of the cove. His radio's gone. Do you want me to keep searching? No. It'll be dark soon. Come back in. Croft's dead. Must have been careless. Want me to go help Dawson? No. He's heading back. We stick to the plan for now. You make your tapes. You might need them. Hartman, you out there? Well, if you are, I've got to congratulate you. You took down one of my best men. But enough's enough. If you come in now, we can get this over and done with. Everyone can go home safe and sound. The alternative is I'll come after you. And I won't stop until you're dead. Or maybe I'm just talking to myself. Kyle? Same as everyone else, all right? I don't have people to talk to. I don't know what you want me to say. I'll fucking speak! Please, do what these people are asking of you. Give us a chance to work everything out. Please, just, just, uh, just go along with everything they say. Yeah. Eu quero voltar pra casa e te dar um grande abraço. Te adoro. You're next, sweetie. Why is she shutting the fucking Shut door? Up. Why is she shutting the I fucking said, door? Shut your fucking mouth. I just want you to look pretty for your close-up, Amy. You know, I'm really not so different to you. Maybe in another situation we could even have been friends. Hmm. Pretty cool to fall for a guy in a place like this. Believe me. I know how hard it is to find someone you can really connect with. Do you really think that I'm stupid enough to trust you? There isn't a place in this entire universe that you and I would ever, ever be friends. You know, I've done my research. I know all about you. The drugs, the one-night stands. Now be a good girl and say hi to mommy. Anything from Tilton? No, not yet. But I could force it from her. We're getting rid of them all anyway, right? Of course. Keep them in the equipment room for now. 
I have a partner asking questions and I've got nothing to say. Harmon's important. If we can't find him, there could be complications. We can always cut and run. And if there's too nah, much heat. Fuck that. Payoff's too rich on this one. Besides, I want to see the look on this little prick's face when I throw him off a fucking cliff. These people are parasites. They don't deserve to live. All right. I'm gonna make this cool. You brought guns? Why would you do that? We are fish in a barrel here. I'm not leaving myself completely defenseless. Point two four three Rigby and a pair of purdies. Answer it. Looks like we're missing a few people. My instructions were very clear. Hashimoto is delayed. Marsak is an orphan. Well, I assume you thought of ways to make up the shortfall. That's really none of your business. And I'm not discussing the ransom with you until I see my son. Your son ran off when he saw his friends in trouble. Once a coward, always a coward, huh? This is not a business negotiation. I meant what I said about the consequences of non-compliance. And I meant what I said. If we don't get proof of life, you don't get the money. Hard 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 Are you mad? Crazy. I thought you could speak for us. I'm sure he'll call back. This is reckless. My son is unaccounted for. There are other lives at stake here. I think Mr. Hartman is right. I'm sure that they will call back, and with it, proof that all of our children are alive. It's just a matter of time. Happy to see you. I'm up. You should be halfway to the Hamptons by now, buddy. Yeah, I hope you didn't bet on it. Nah. Look, you're better at this stuff than me. Okay, we need to get supplies and we gotta go right now. They're not fucking around. They're gonna kill us. Ransom or no ransom. Okay. Guys, grab what you can. Supplies, equipment, anything. We gotta go now. Marsak, let's go. I will not let this little prick turn my operation into a circus. Bring me Tilson. If she knows something, she's gonna tell us now. What? Look 
Okay, Marsac, Fayette, you, Amy, Keiko, head up North Trail to the old farm. Okay, we know the shelves are there. No, 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 we're not splitting up. Why? Because two groups are harder to track than one, all right? So stay out of sight and cover your tracks, okay? We need to go now. Hostages on our watch. They can't have gone far. We'll track them and we'll bring them back. They have no way of getting off the island. It's just a matter of flushing them out. They do it! I want them found by morning. No more fucking surprises. If they were going to call back, they would have done it by now. Maybe they are looking for the boy. Or maybe they've lost patience. We're wasting time here. Any word from Oshimoto? Not yet. But I've been crunching the numbers. Now, we can cash flow the ransom, but if we take that money out of the business, it will kill the merger. Which leaves us in a potentially difficult position. You mean that leaves me potentially bankrupt? And you potentially unemployed? Hmm? Well, let's not get melodramatic here, Bobby. There are always solutions. Best can set no, Marcus. Unless I can find 250 million. Merge is dead in the water, ransom or not. Call me back when you hear from Oshimoto. Same as the rest of you. Waiting for the phone to ring. Look, I know it was a risk. But I have to make sure my son is okay. All any of us ever try to do is protect our children, right? 
Our children. It's funny. What's funny? Nothing, nothing. Whiskey. It's just, uh, my Amy was the girl who, uh, was with Kyle the night he wrecked his car. I was the one who agreed to keep it quiet when you bribed that judge. But how were you to know about that? I mean, you had your best man deal with it. And it must be nice to have a man like Shah get his hands dirty for you. And I suppose that's why they made you the point of contact, because you've got a history of getting exactly what you want. Yeah? I've heard back from Oshimoto. I'm putting you on speaker. Oshimoto's people have calculated the odds of his daughter surviving in 3070. He's out. He's not paying. Based on what? Kidnappings over the last 10 years. Maybe he has a point. So you're saying because we can't trust these guys, we shouldn't pay him? That's not for me to say. But could call their bluff. Likelihood is they're not going to go through with their threat. Kill eight kids? To what end? And if they do go through with it? Let's be honest here. These kids have caused you nothing but grief. Maybe you'd all be better off. Marcus, you remember our conversation earlier about you being unemployed? Yes. That time has come. Hey. What is it? It's Keiko. Oh, she, is she hurt? She didn't tell us in time. She didn't want to hold us back. How bad? We couldn't stop the bleeding. She's dead. I'm so sorry. What? Maybe she's not, she's not fucking dead. She's Gordon. I can't tell you how much I've been looking forward to meeting you. Yeah, well, I can't say the same about you. Oh, that hurts. Now drop the bow. Drop the bow! On your knees! On your knees! Hands behind your back. I can't wait to see Amy's face when I hand her her boyfriend's head on a plate. Kind of poetic, don't you think? Biblical, almost. <laughs>
Okay, are you ready? Let's just do it. One, two, two three. three. Oh. Hey, hey, oh. Bro, hey, you're doing great. Oh. We're almost there. I think I'm having an out-of-body experience. What the hell is wrong with you? Why would you risk your life like that? You risked your life for us. I was, I was just returning the favor. Are you crazy? Maybe I am. This is FBI Special Agent Jess Chambliss. Don't worry, this is a secure line. We understand your concern for your children's safety, but you have done the right thing in contacting us. I'm sorry about your son, Mr. Hartman. Somebody had to do something. We are working with the UK authorities, and together we are drawing up plans for the safe recovery of your children. Plans? What plans? I'm afraid I can't discuss that at this time, Mr. Hartman. I'll have my jet back here within the hour. I'll be in Scotland in less than seven. Mr. Hartman, I strongly advise you to stay where you are. By going out there, you jeopardize not only your own safety, but the success of the recovery mission. I'm done leaving my son's life in other people's hands. I'm not going to sit and wait for you guys to bring me bad news. Mr. Hartman. Bobby Wade. Mr. Hartman. I'd like to come along. See if I can help. What are you going to do when you get there? Whatever I have to do. I have to rest, Kyle. We can't. We can't rest here. Then you have to go without me. I can slow them down, give you a chance to get ahead. Amy, I'm not going anywhere without you. Okay? Not this time. Stupid! Automatic weapon versus a bow and arrow. Fucking throw it to the ground now! Now! Okay, stop! Stop! Okay! Stand out where I can see you! Move! Drop your weapon now! No. What the fuck do you mean no? I mean no. I'm not gonna drop it. Why are you determined to do this the hard way? Drop it, or I'll shoot you in your fucking head! Everybody stand still! What would you do if we all rushed you right now, huh? Would you kill us all? I've killed more people than I can fucking count, mate. Yeah? What's the number four? Don't move! If you do that, you get nothing. No ransom. Is that what you came here for? To leave with nothing? Huh? I figure we can afford to kill one of you. Yeah? And we'll see how brave the rest of you really fucking are.
heard shooting. Two more of them are dead now. There's still one left. He's probably gonna keep coming, just like you said. Then we'll let him. Advent, I don't understand why you want to take him alive. Yeah, we have got a gun, right? All we've got to do is hide until he appears and then shoot him. Not if we don't have to. Of course we have to. We've got to kill him before he kills us. Why are we even discussing this? Because it's not who we are. We're not killers. Everything we did was in self-defense. But this is different, OK? We have a choice. Someone isn't as easy as you think, Marzak. All right, Kyle. What's the plan? It's like Maxwell said. If we can set the right trap in the right place, we can catch anything. So does um, anybody know how to use this? I've never shot a gun before. I don't even know what that thing is. It's a Bushmaster M16, 223 caliber. It's automatic, clip holds about 30 rounds. The rate of fire is 800 RPM. My dad has one in his collection. Well, you just volunteered. out of sight until he passes. When he does, follow him at a safe distance. If he starts to turn back, fire a few shots in the air, that should keep him in the right direction. Okay? You got this?
I'm guessing this isn't the way you saw this going. Throw him away now! Throw him! Boy, got a decent bit of blood on your hands. Actually, I should thank you. Still flying solo now. No one to share the ransom with. You still think that's gonna happen? Oh, I know it's gonna happen to you. I know exactly how much of an investment you are to your parents. Now, if you don't march all your friends down here in the next 30 seconds. I'm gonna shoot your girlfriend in the fucking face. I wouldn't take too much time to think on it.
Your son was pretty incredible out there, Mr. Hartman. Sounds like he wasn't alone there. You're Amy, aren't you? It's nice to finally meet you in person. Likewise. I'll let you two catch up. Well, I care about you, Amy. More than you realize. It's hard to believe that this guy's back planned this whole thing on his own. I suppose the only thing we're certain of now is that there's no one left to question. Why don't you answer, Jonathan? You want to tell us why the last seven calls on Spec's sat phone came from the one you're holding? You couldn't get your grubby hands on my father's money, so you found a way to get your own, am I right? I don't know what she's talking about. She's hysterical. <coughs> Innocent people are dead because of you. My father taught me to live my life trying to make a difference. You've taught me why. I've done nothing. She's making it up. She's never liked me. This is crazy. You okay?